And I thought that our guys, you know, for the most part, um, played hard. There are stats that you looked at that you'd like to take back, you know, the offensive rebounding and the turnovers especially. But in general, I, I leave tonight um, happy with a lot of things. Well, it gets back to the turnovers are an area that we, in the past, you know, you had a decision to make. You had a bunch of young guys. You wanted to play fast. You know, you turned your head a little bit to them in exchange for playing with more freedom. Th th that can't happen this year. You know, we really have to pay more attention to the turnovers. Tonight was poor. The last game was good with 14. Tonight we ended up with 24. Part of the turnover evolution is not traveling on catch goes, go catches. And the other part is jump stops in the lane. As I said at the start, you know, the, the offensive rebounds and the turnovers, statistically the most disturbing. I mean, you're just trying to, um, you know, coach them in environments that is not blanket sort of punishment. You want to try to get to the point of why it happened. And, and I think that those turnovers that you're talking about, a lot of them are execution behind the turnover. You know, somebody didn't, you know, use a proper setup to create a lead. One of our bigs set a poor screen to free somebody up. People out front that are delivering a ball didn't sort of fake a pass to make a pass. I think that, you know, just flipping it over your ear or like willy-nilly just throwing it out of bounds, I don't see that, I think, as much. Um, I, I think the things that you're talking about Really, you can backpedal and find more the root of the cause if you look at execution of a screen or a setup. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you think that with communication and a little bit more just time together through this preseason, you'll be able to cut down on turnovers and stuff like that? Oh, definitely, definitely. That just takes time. Um, just learning everyone's positions um, defensively also. Uh, make sure you communicate off the ball you know, and do picks and, and screens and handoffs. So it just takes time. Let's say out of 10, on Wednesday's game, I probably played seven out of 10. And then tonight, probably six, five. Why do you, why do you think I played as well? Um, too many turnovers, obviously. Um, too many uh, offensive fouls on Dane. You know, he played a smart though, so that, that's just uh, one of those things you got to learn. Um, you know, who you're playing against, you know, who wants to take charges and, and things like that.